I think she likes it. Well, I'm gonna love Morning. Good morning from Messina. Yeah, it's true. Well, not really, but kind of. We're today at sea, but we just happen to wake up at the same time that we're coming through the Straits of Messina. Straits so I know of what Messina. It, is that I what think that's called? what the captain referred to it last night on his announcement. Yeah, we're coming right through between Sicily and mainland Italy, mm -hmm. right where Messina is located. We can see on the bow cam that we're coming up to it. In fact, we can even see the Rhapsody of the Seas is ahead of us going through the same street. Yeah. There we go. We're here. We're gonna go grab some breakfast. We've got a sea day with a whole bunch of stuff this evening. It's crazy. Yeah. So, and we probably got a couple of things during the day, a couple of talks, a couple of things going on. Mm-hmm. So, let's get this last sea day started of this big European adventure. Let's do it. Off we go. We only have about two, ca two or three cabins away from the elevator, so that's been handy. And we're also only usually two or three flights of stairs away from all the action inside the ship. Hi, we're Jill and Jerry here on the beautiful Enchanted Princess. And this episode contains a hidden letter that is part of our journey to the secret word. Thank you to Level 8 for sponsoring this contest. And use those letters to try to form three words that relate to this cruise. Okay, it's breakfast time in the main dining room again. Mm, pancakes. Have a little bit of the red Ooh, jam. Look at yes. the size of these jam containers, by the way. This is thank Kanaka's you. Pile it on the jam. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> The English fashion all never changes, but the top two always change. Today is Alaska Scrambler and Blueberry Pancakes. Not are we not only eating the croissant in a strange way, we're dipping it in jam. This is getting out of control over there. Don't fucking even look anymore. It's good. I can look at mine. I have to find where it starts so I can start unraveling it. There it is, in the bottom. Okay, my breakfast parts have started to show up. And I've started with some oranges. The highlight of my oranges is a little tiny fork, though. I'll put it next to the big brother. <laughs> I like small utensils. And I am having um, what was called the the stewed, no. oh, sliced cinnamon. cinnamon apple wedges. But it looks like they've given me a couple peaches in here, too. So this is an apple, and then it looks like I have three peaches in here. They must be running short on the apple. Breakfast has arrived. I am having the traditional English breakfast today with my beans, of course, being the highlight. Some <laughs> over medium eggs and some whole wheat toast. And I went with one of their specials of the day, which is the blueberry pancakes. And look, a little bit of whipped cream came on the side with that. Some bacon. Okay, we have come out to our secret spot. This might be our last chance on this European adventure to enjoy the secret spot as we expect the weather to get cooler the next couple of days. But nice and sunny right now as we've just cleared the Straits of Messini between Sicily and Italy. And uh, in the background you can still see a little bit of Sicily there and we're coming up towards and way in the distance I can see Stromboli, Mount Stromboli, the, the active volcano. So we're gonna have a quiet time and just stare off in the distance. And it's kind of a surreal feeling that you know a lot of Canadians have come from Italy and come to Canada. We're, we're back here now and even to think that as far back as World War II Lots of Canadians came here to fight. This is where they started in Sicily and fought their way up through Italy at the end of World War II. There's a lot of uh, Canadians buried on, on, on Sicily itself uh, from those battles. So, yeah, interesting spot. A lot of history and a lot of connections to Canada, even though we're a long ways from home. Okay, this is our fourth time going by Mount Stromboli, but our most spectacular. We are on the opposite side. We're on the western side of it today, heading north. You can see just a little bit of steam coming out of the top left of the caldera there. Actually, it's coming out pretty good now. It was pretty quiet for the last half hour. So we got, you can see there's a little village there at the left side of what we can see. Pretty wild. Off she goes. She's done relaxing, heading back before lunch. We did a little bit of volcano chasing this morning. <laughs> I was kind of hoping the captain would just keep driving in circles around Stromboli, but I guess he thinks we need to get to Corsica for tomorrow. <laughs> At least one loop would have been too bad, would it? Anyways, 
we have finished our relaxing and our reading and our volcano watching and now we're gonna get ready to head to the main dining room for lunch i think this will only be the second time we've done that yeah so dropping off our stuff and heading the other direction okay off we go to the dining room where we are meeting fellow canadians not just canadians fellow ontarians uh -huh. let's go see if we can find them have you ever had that before me either so. i've well, heard it I've heard of it, but I've, I don't know what it looks like when it yeah, comes together. You telling everybody about your lunch? Oh, I'm just reading. Plowman's lunch, that's a new term for us. Oh yeah? I know it's very British. I've heard British people talking about it, but I don't know what and it yet looks it's like. it's listed under starters. <laughs> yeah, it's a starter, not a whole thing. Well, the scotch egg is you got big. bangers and yeah. mash, chicken curry, fish and chips, time. vegetable <laughs> burrito, <laughs> Philly steak Good sandwich, enough. rigatoni, carbonara style. I'm gonna say one of each for me. One of each. <laughs> it all looks good. <laughs> wow. Okay, my appetizer has arrived. It is the carbonara style rigatoni. It looks a lot like penne. And <laughs> and I decided to try something that I've never had before, which is a yeah the plowman's lunch, supposedly a British thing. I want to see you eat this meat on camera. <laughs> yeah, I I'm pretty sure that that probably won't get. I think it's a pate. But, um, yeah, I might not have that. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, lunch has arrived. I'm having the chicken curry. Mm, there you are. And I'm having the carbon ca so, carbonara. carbonara pasta. Penne. It's penne? Not rigatoni. rigatoni penne? <laughs> no. Okay, dessert has arrived. Are the same thing? We are. All four of us have ordered it. Bread pudding. That's right. We're going to try. There you go. Mm. Okay, we are back from lunch with Sheila and Gates. And we didn't show you them on camera. You might have saw their food in the distance. Oh, I think we might see them again this evening. Maybe we'll have to show you. Sheila and Gates have been here with us on our, our cruise. That uh, they know us from watching us on YouTube. And we ran into them for the first time here. So, anyways, update on... One of the perks for uh, being elite with princess is that you get to have tea time delivered to your stateroom. So I just called up to see how that works. I tried to book it for today. It's about uh, 1.30 in the afternoon and they said they couldn't do it for today. It wasn't enough notice, but they would do it for tomorrow. So we'll see tomorrow. We are in Corsica at Ejecchio and we're going to see if we can get tea time delivered to our cabin at 3 o'clock. For now, I think we're going to watch one of the educational things on the places we're going the next couple of days before we start getting ready for the big formal night, captain's night. And we're also watching one of the shows that we haven't seen in the theater that we've been waiting to see as well. So a bunch of stuff coming in the next few hours. Time to go get ready. Well, I'm doing something we don't normally do. I have left Mr. Canuck. He is about to go do an enrichment talk that he wants to go to take part of. And I decided I'm going to go to the ladies pamper spa party that they have, which I've done before with friends when we've cruised, never vlogged it, and I've never done it by myself. But I'm going to give it a try today to show you guys what it's all about in case you haven't done it. Let's go check it out. Here in the piazza, they're getting ready to play a game. They're doing the egg challenge drop. But we're heading this way into the Take 5 lounge. Okay, Mrs. Canuck just left to do girl stuff. So we've got a ladies pamper party. So I'm going to go do man stuff. So I'm going to go, I think there's some kind of a talk about volcanoes, Santorini, volcanoes, man stuff. Let's go. This is the good stuff. All right, so I'm here in the Take 5 lounge. There's around two, four, six other women down the line from me. Oh, they're giving out cloths to everybody but me. Guess maybe I moved off to the side to try to film, and maybe they think I don't, I'm not a part of this. I don't know. Okay, I'm here at Princess Live for the first time in 20 days. So that's what the presentation is. We'll find out. Okay, so they just gave me wipes, sanitizing my hands, and they're coming. Get my garbage. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I love your nails. Come on, please. <laughs> Okay, this presentation is called The Volcano of Santorini and its Global Impact. So, not sure how much I can show you, but I'll try to give you a couple of snippets and I'll let you know what it's like after we're done. 
So they just offered for ladies that wanted to, to go up to the front and they're doing um, a footprint analysis. So if that's something you've never done before, they will, they take a little ink stamping of your foot and they tell you how you're walking properly. The, and the whole posture around all of that. Thank you. Not a problem. back. Hmm. There you go. That's what my footprint looks like. I bet you they're going to tell me there's something about pressure points along here. Has anyone ever done a facial before? Like a professional facial? Yeah? Who's doing a skincare routine at home? A few of you? Wow! I've got a really good group today. So thank you for joining me. Rather than uh, talking about Santorini as such, because we, we've all been there that we know how beautiful it is, I thought I'd concentrate a bit on the volcano of Santorini and its effects that it had on the surrounding region of the Mediterranean, because it was a huge catastrophe in the age that it happened. It had a great effect on many of the other regions in the, in the Mediterranean, including the Minoan civilization of Crete. Thank you. So, yeah, oil. So, they just put a cleanser on my hand. So, you'll feel it is a ball. I think I should put it on the other hand so I can use the right hand. Smells pretty. It's lavender, apparently. Okay. I want you to focus on the areas that you forget sometimes. So, here on the side of the nose, it's safe to use this on the eye as well. I have a little cloth that has some water and toner on there for you, okay? So it's a nice, which toner did you use? I think it's either apricot or lavender. What does it smell like? <laughs> yeah? It's still lavender, I think, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> if you feel like you need another one, you can raise your hand. That's okay, if you still have some left over. So you're going to do a, a press? For I'm done with the volcanoes of Santorini. A little bit about volcanoes, a little bit about ancient civilization history, like the Minoan civilization. So let's see if Mrs. Knack is back in the room or if she's still doing girl things. Anyone ever heard of Botox, Botox in a bottle now? Yeah, hmm. yeah. has anyone ever had that they, they're not shy to say it? Yeah? Nice! This see, goes on lines. Oh. So put it everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Due to geographically where we live, climate, the, the, the sun exposure, lifestyle, I mean the husbands. <laughs> I'm done with that. It was around 40 minutes long and they did offer um, a special massage package rate for people that wanted to do that. To book that, and they are, sell, of course, selling products and and uh, spa treatments there, of course. Good evening. Good evening. It is Golden White Night, also which is also known as Formal Night. That's it. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we had a relaxed afternoon, getting ready. We did. I went to the pampers, uh, the ladies' pampered thing, and did a little bit of the facial stuff I showed you guys, and then met Mr. Canuck back here, and we ended up watching a movie before getting ready for dinner. I did no facial stuff or no pampering. Well, you could have come. There was one husband there. That husband should have been watching volcanoes like me. <laughs> All I'm saying to one husband. And so now we're going to go out, and we're going to probably uh, maybe have a picture or two taken. And then we're going to go find a drink and join the captain as he wants to welcome us aboard. Mm -hmm. Always at the end of the cruise. Always at the end of the cruise. The welcome yeah. aboard thing. Now you might be thinking, oh, I watched that one where they saw the captain last 11-day cruise in Europe. We have a different captain this time. Yes, so this is this captain's first welcome aboard for us. So mm -hmm. we're going to go see what he's Meet like. Him. Yeah. So anyways, we are off and we're going to see you around the ship. That's the plan. That's the plan. Okay, let's do it. Let's go. Mrs. Canuck wearing a gold and blue dress. And it's only about one quarter length. Straps on the shoulder. 
little beige purse. Oh, we it's didn't make beige. a turn for pictures. So. It's white. Oh, it's a white purse. Pictures are, don't start till five. And oh, pictures haven't started yet, so. Oh, okay. yeah. We might be a little bit early. Yeah. I have got my gray suit on, but I think it's time for a new suit. Mm -hmm. It's a little, a little too much like I'm an accountant on a cruise ship. So we'll see if we can find a new one before the group cruise. Well, we are waiting to get some pictures done on the staircase. And we got a little bit of music in the atrium. Dave is playing down there today. We are here at the captain's special event. Sounds very noisy in here. <laughs> okay, the crowds are filling in to see the captain here in the Vista Lounge. We're here with Sheila and Gates. The band's playing and the captain's about to make an announcement in a few seconds. There you go. Lots of people here in Nakshi Texas today. I'm really impressed. All dressed up tonight for White Gold. Anyway, good evening and uh, welcome to your uh, party. And uh, first of all, I would like to thank you, the hotel officers, and especially Bosco, the hotel general manager, so convincing, so charming. He managed to convince me to come to your party. <laughs> he thought, even told me that I was going to be the one speaking. <laughs> so thank you to Bosco and the hotel team here, all the officers in here. Nice round of applause for them and the FMD team. Okay, we are done with the uh, captain's circle party and we are in our usual spot in the dining room. Oh, let me get that chair for you, honey. It is gala dinner night. Gala we dinner. We love to celebrate. Starters are here. Oh, we're on an angle. Sword. Let me see if we can get you straight up starters. There you go. Now you got a shadow. So many problems with your starters. And we've got the pasta options, some mains. Hmm. Seared mustard crusted tuna. Doesn't sound like Mrs. Canuck to me. Land and sea? I don't know if I'm feeling that tonight. I might try something different. How about you? <laughs> I think I'm going with the land and sea. Are you? Surprise, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> and the escargot? No escargot. No escargots? No, I can't okay. do that. No snails for you. Mmm, bread looks good tonight. Okay, my first appetizer has arrived. And I have ordered the tomato cream soup. I have added pepper and a rather large spoon for, the, <laughs> for you to see. A spoon. A large spoon. And over here... I am having the shrimp cocktail. It usually is covered in cocktail sauce here. I'm not a fan of it, so I asked them without it. So I just like to put a little bit of lemon juice on it. Mm. I am done with the soup, so appetizer number two has arrived. And it is the iceberg wedge salad. A little bit of bacon. I've added balsamic vinegar to this. It does come with blue cheese crumble, but I asked them to hold the blue cheese crumble. So, I am having the surf and turf. <laughs> Land and sea? Yeah, what are you having? Land and sea. Oh, we're both having the same thing. How weird is that? Mike is not doing that. Mine's also medium rare. Yeah, but look at here is the regular stuff. <laughs> come on in, Yudi. Uh oh. Uh, Oh, there we go. Oh, maybe I'm going to eat that gonna instead. going to go store that for me. <laughs> wrong, wrong order. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, perfect. Sure, if you'd like. And by the way, I didn't tell you, so I'm having the roasted chicken. That's what I'm having. But I'm getting some extra vegetables out of this extra lobster. Thank you. Look at the meat over here. Look at this, guys. Ooh, it's a fancy night for Mrs. Canuck. <laughs> Dessert has arrived. I ordered some kind of sugar-free cherry something. Not looks sure what good. I've got, but that's what it looks like. 
and I am having one of my favorites, creme brulee. Creme brulee, good. How many creme brulees can you have? Quite hmm? a few, apparently. I haven't gotten tired of them yet. We finished dinner. We were settled into the piazza for a little bit of music. I think she likes it. So we made our way up from the piazza and we are in Turner's and Colin is singing here behind us. There's no hurry, don't you worry. We can take our time. Let's go Pour me something tall and strong Make it a hurricane before I go insane It's only half past twelve But I don't care It's five o'clock somewhere The day the music died We are somewhere new. <laughs> we are. <laughs> well, not new, new. No. But we just left Pruner's Bar. We rushed to the other end of the ship to Vista Lounge. And Steve Terry, the comedian we heard last night. Night before. Night before. Mm -hmm. He's playing the Vista Lounge. So we're going to catch his act before we rush to the other end of the ship to, to catch rock opera. We have never seen rock opera. We've heard lots about it. So tonight we will finally see it. Finally. After two failed attempts in the last year. <laughs> yeah. Okay, anyways, I'm not sure we can record this. Might catch a little snippet at the beginning. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, British humor. So I like it. Yeah, should be great. Okay, see you in a bit. She's a real nice girl and she's always there for you. But a girl like that won't tell you what you should do. Okay, that's uh, that's introductions out of the way. Thank you for coming back and thank you for coming to see the show. So just one tonight, there was loads of other things going on. Uh, there was one at 11 o'clock, but they thought nobody would be up awake. <laughs> to be honest with you, and I wouldn't be either. So, so. Okay, here we are. I think we're finally going to see Rock Opera. We're finally going to see the main theater late show, but probably a little less busy. Rock opera. It was very good, wasn't it? We, you didn't get to see it. We got to see it. Mm -hmm. And the boat is really moving. Ooh. It's one of those nights where you have to feel like you have to hang onto the walls to keep on from not falling into them. So, oh, there goes another wave. <laughs> okay, we're almost back to the cabin. More in just a sec. Good evening. Hopefully, you can stay upright and don't fall over. Because <laughs> we're almost falling over. I was just going to say, I think I'll hold onto the chair for the right for the night. Oh, yeah. Waves have been knocking us around every direction since uh, with the captain's party. I didn't notice it so much in the dining room, but after that... Yeah. yeah. Well, our dining room's mid-ship, so I think that helps. Oh, that's probably true. So, yeah, we saw the captain's party. <laughs> Interesting side note there. Mm -hmm. It was the staff captain. We, yeah. ne we never did see the new captain. Nope. Not sure why, him. where he is, if he's ill or what's going on. No idea. Nobody no. said anything. Nobody even said why the captain wasn't there, so... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we had formal meal. We did? Yep, I had lobster and, what was it they had? Some kind of red meat? On the record, that's what I had. Someone stole my portions. <laughs> Left me with chicken. <laughs> yes, so that was good. So nice to see lobster and red meat stuff. Full me. Full meal. <laughs> <laughs> Still on the menu for free on formal nights. Yes. So, yes. Very nice. 
And then we caught a bunch of music here and there on the ship. Yeah, we sort of ran around all over the place because there was so much going on tonight. It's funny because we've been finding on this long journey that there's been some nights where there's been large gaps in things to do. So we've watched movies, gone and done hot tubs in the night, created our own entertainment. Uh, but tonight, I guess because it's formal night, everybody was out and there was multiple things happening. So we finished dinner and we went for music in the piazza. Then we went upstairs to, to the crooner's bar with Colin. Then we went to the comedy. And, All over. And then from there we ran to the theater. So that was our night. We got rock opera. Rock opera. Yep. Yeah. Finally saw it after several tries and several cruises. Yeah. I'm really glad we finally got to see it. I really enjoyed it. So princess shows and all, general. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All in all in general. I don't know if that makes any sense. Princess shows. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what I think what sets them apart for me, first off, is the live band. Mm. Makes a big difference That's in the production huge. shows. It really does. I've seen yeah, lots of production really shows nice. in the last year, and really the live bands really set it off. The next thing is the production value. You know, you can see that mm -hmm. it's very polished. Yeah. Costumes are gorgeous. Yep. And I think of this one, I've seen four princess productions in the last year. Mm -hmm. I think this is my fourth. Now that doesn't mean it's bad, it just means that the other ones are fantastic. This one was more on the par with what I've seen for better ones and other cruises. Mm -hmm. See, and I wouldn't put it at fourth. I, I would think it's higher up there on my list of favorites. I think I've got Five Skies, number one. Yeah, I know that that's your favorite. I'm thinking that actually that one we saw, the bar one this week, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. was, was the that... The new show? The new show, I think, was size in number two. is really close to Bravo. Mm -hmm. Bravo was phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And this one goes fourth. And that and this one only goes fourth because the other ones are that good. That's funny because I would put Bravo still as number one for me and this one as number two. Oh, wow. opera. See, there you go. Yeah. All personal taste. There so, you go. Yeah, and this was a lot of less production as far as stage set stuff yes. and effects and stuff. Yeah, More just straight out singing. Mm -hmm. But I guess opera, it's in the name. Rock. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My only disappointment with Princess production shows, there's not enough. Yeah. I think I should get more than three production shows on a 22-day cruise. Now, mm -hmm. I know it's two 11s, but I still mm -hmm. think three's not enough, mm -hmm. even on 11. Mm -hmm. that, it's designed, I think, for a seven-day cruise, and three's really good, I think, on seven days for that level of talent and that level of production. Yeah, I don't know. On a seven-day cruise, if you get three, I think you only get two. Oh, yeah. But, um... Interesting. We'll have to see, because we're... Well, I guess we're not doing a seven-day. We're, we're doing, doing ten, 10 for the group cruise, yeah. so hopefully we get three on the group cruise. But I just know when we did the Sky Princess for a seven day, there were only two. Two, yeah. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to see more of them. That's a good thing, though. When you want to see more of something, it means it's really good. So, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, but that's all. We are going to bed, and we're going to splash around a little bit as we get closer to Corsica, which is the island north of Sardinia. Mm -hmm. We're west of Italy now and south of France. What's our weather for tomorrow? Our Let's weather see. is going to cool off. We're going to be windy. It's going to be breezy. Temperature is probably in the mid to low teens. Celsius, he's talking. Mm -hmm. So that's like 60 Fahrenheit. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so we have to go to bed and plan on putting on warmer clothes for the first time in many days. There you go. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to tackle France, the next two ports in a row. Nice. And show you what we get up to. We still got some plans. We still got to squeeze the last little bits out of this vacation. So. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> and so good night. Thanks for watching us on our former night and our sea day. And mm -hmm. it was a fun day. I haven't seen some of the footage yet. So you will up by now. Huh? I haven't seen the uh, <laughs> ladies day out or whatever that was. Ladies pamper party. Pamper party. Mm -hmm. All I saw was the men's pamper party, which was all about volcanoes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found the letter today. It was there somewhere. <laughs> and we will see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night.